Welcome back. She's in her 60s. She works hard and decided she needed a lift. Literally. And almost $30,000 later, Yelena says she's a new woman with improved confidence, a better quality of life, even a new career. Mazoe Ford has the story. Let's go, girls. I look 20 years younger and I feel fantastic. Patients repeatedly tell me that it's the best investment that they've ever made. Around about $20,000 for everything. Man, I feel like a woman. At age 61, Yelena Shkabatov is a new woman with a new face to match. Now it was time to do something for myself. I decided to do it in one hit and I think I've got a great result. This was Yelena before the surgery. This is her today. From every angle, the change is clear. And it's only been a month since she left hospital. Oh, hi, Chris. How are you doing? Really well, thank you. It's been about four weeks now. It hasn't has, it? yes, it has. Come indeed. on through. Let's see how you're going. Your cheeks have got their definition back with nice volume, because you've got a very nice new neckline with good firming of the neck skin. And the incisions have all healed beautifully, and they're all hidden here behind, along the ear and then going up into behind the hairline. Plastic surgeon Dr Chris Moss. There's now some very, very safe techniques and we can get very predictable natural results. So more and more women are going under the knife and not forking at the big bucks. Here's the package deal Yelena signed up for. Full facelift focusing on face, cheeks and neck, forehead rejuvenation and laser resurfacing on wrinkles. All up four and a half hours of surgery, two nights in hospital, $27,000. But that's nothing compared to what others have spent. It's becoming accepted now that people say, if I've got a problem, I'm going to go and do something about it. There's even speculation Hillary Clinton's jumped on the bandwagon. This was the US presidential aspirant last year. This is her look on the campaign trail now. Oh, really? Yelena also had the work done to get ahead in her career. Oh, this has given me the confidence to work for the next 20 years of my life. Yeah, no, that's great. She's already successful in high-end fashion and property development. Now she's kick-starting a mentoring career. I would like to encourage women to be very successful in their businesses. And part of it is feeling good and part of feeling good is looking good. Could you have continued on in your industry with the face you had? Not as well. What's wrong with ageing gracefully? Well, this is part of ageing gracefully. We're living longer. I think now we have the choice. So that if we have excessive signs of ageing and it's causing, you know, it's impairing us in, in other ways, then at least now we have an option to go and do something about that. But don't rush into it, says Dr Moss. Do your homework. Don't be sucked in by cheap overseas deals. Make sure you see a qualified plastic surgeon and ask to see photographs of their work. Why not go and do it? I feel 